I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 651, and we're on our way back home from Seattle. At CDI, I saw the thinnest HD TVs I've ever seen. Thin TVs have a definite wow factor, and now Samsung is showing off a 3mm thick 40 inch LED HD TV, and they're calling it the Needle Slim. It has a 5000 to 1 contrast ratio and 120 Hz refresh rate. It's 1080p, but I feel like that should just go without saying by now. It should be available before the holidays in Japan. On the very first episode of Geek Brief TV, we covered video glasses that made the wearer look like Geordi from Star Trek. Now Vuzix has a pair that don't look all that different than a pair of Oakley sunglasses. You can use an iPod, iPhone, or DVD player as a video source and the image is comparable to what you would see on a 55-inch 16-9 screen from 10 feet away. The new model is called the RAP310. It'll work for up to 6 hours on two AA batteries and sells for $250. Pocket camcorders that only shoot 640x480 video have to do something unique in order to compete against all those low-cost HD shooters. Vivitar's idea is to make one with infrared night vision that also shoots underwater up to 16 feet down if you put it in the included case. The DVR-510 is only $50 and has a webcam mode, so it might be fun. The guys at Boston Dynamics seem to like to build robots they can push around. First, there was the big dog robot that stood up to Mr. Pushy Man, and now there's a biped set of robot legs called Pet Man. It can crawl or walk up to 3.2 miles per hour. It'll be used by the U.S. Army to test protective clothing during exposure to chemical warfare agents. If you have a netbook that you want to run Windows 7 on, you may be wondering how to get around the optical drive problem without buying a USB optical drive. I'm sure there are hacks, there always are, but the official solution for Microsoft is a downloadable version that downloads to a USB drive. It's available exclusively from the Microsoft Store. I'm going to try it on an HP Mini running XP when I get home. Tweet me at Callie Lewis if you try it before I get home. While I was at Blog World, I met one person I've always wanted to meet, Mignon Fogarty, aka Grammar Girl. I did one of the embed interviews with her, but for some reason, the camera shooting both of us didn't capture the whole video. I'm really disappointed and I want to apologize because our new book, The Grammar Devotional, was released today. It's 365 lessons, one a day, to help us improve our writing. Always a good thing. I got a head start and I'm really enjoying it. Lost footage happens, but it sucks. And I particularly hate that it happened with Grammar Girls. I'm so sorry, Mignon. Brief 651 was brought to you by Squarespace.com. Jake used promo code GEEK to save money and build SpotMagazine.net, the online home of the print publication. Thanks so much, Jake, and thanks to you guys for watching. Bye. Do we need to do that again? <laughs> Yay, we don't get it. That's the way Canada feels <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Sorry, Canada.